Uh, telecommunication networks in Europe and uh, all across the world are going through uh, a new phase, a new phase where uh, they have gone through two ones before, one where it was the uh, fixed line deployment, now uh, which is uh, on the one around mobile uh, wireless deployment. And the third one is about uncertainty. Uh, it's not clear what are the uh, new business models and the new opportunities. There certainly is uh, uh, the feeling that uh, by taking all the learnings that we've had on the internet and making them into new economies, we can really empower others to innovate. Uh, that applies to spaces like uh, e-health, like security, like financial services, like connecting things that are around us, uh, or even the world of big data. Uh, if you look in terms of economic terms, that accounts for about 10 times more uh, market than the one that we get today in the, uh, in the current internet. The internet was created uh, with a virtue that at the same time is its weakness. Uh, the main virtue is that it's very flexible, it's a very thin layer that allows a lot of innovation and it's not optimized for anything. It didn't take sides, it didn't take uh, uh, an approach to optimize it for a particular application of service. But the same um, a virtue is at the, uh, at the same time a weakness because it makes it uh, non-optimized for anything and open to everything. Um, that creates problems of security, that creates problems of content delivery, things that uh, um, we had to be working out as we see the problems emerge. Uh, what I'm thinking is that uh, the future internet architectures will probably put more focus at uh, uh, better delivered content uh, and finding it. Uh, maybe at a certain point we don't have to see uh, ads to be able to search for content because search becomes uh, democratized in the core of the internet and we start thinking about the internet as a database and not so much as a network. Um, and probably uh, things around uh, trust and reputation and identity, whether you want to go in the net as in an anonymous way or whether you want to go in the net uh, saying who you are because that's gonna, uh, because your trust and your reputation is important. I think that's going to be a choice that a lot of users uh, could be able to, uh, uh, to make and uh, where the internet uh, will probably evolve to help in those functionalities. So the network is neutral and should remain neutral. That has served very well everybody in terms of innovation, in terms of uh, uh, creativity. Um, probably there should be more and more transparency and competition and less regulation. Uh, that's what uh, usually fosters innovation and creativity in all other places. Now, the, the debate is moving not so much on the, the neutrality space, but on the net, uh, data neutrality space. Uh, we are uh, seeing how um, your current data is now being uh, used to uh, drive the economy on the internet. And uh, what we think is that we should start developing more of a symmetric relationships uh, between the users and uh, the content providers. In a sense, I should be able to know about myself at least as much as others know about myself. And uh, uh, probably uh, having um, architectures that help you uh, grab that data uh, uh, collected and bring it into yourself and then develop services that help you manage your life and uh, understand what you want, that's probably very useful. 60% of the cost of an operator going to the access network, meaning the clouds, the data centers, the transport networks, the wires that go over the transatlantic ocean to connect you to the internet, only account for 40%. 60% happens in the very last miles of the network. Now, uh, out of that cost, more than 60% of that cost goes into energy and operations and people. Now unfortunately uh, those are things where Moore's law which tells us that uh, gives us high, higher efficiencies uh, uh, very fast over the years don't apply. Uh, energy doesn't improve at, the, uh, at that speed and certainly human labor costs don't improve at that speed. And that is becoming a fundamental issue in uh, lowering the cost of uh, the networks today. So the internet first connected computers um, now Facebook is connecting people and what we probably see is uh, connecting things. The challenges there are tremendous. You can start thinking about how rather than uh, downloading very big uh, pieces of content, now we're going to have millions of flows with very little tiny 
bits of information. And that will change the whole architecture and uh, we'll have to start rethinking about how we enable uh, this uh, new future internet.